I am super excited for this set here. So, I've been seeing on the TikToks the last, I'd say probably a couple months, it's been popping up here and there randomly, are videos for Paint Gem. And it is a small size diamond painting, which if you've watched my diamond painting videos, you know, the smaller the painting, the more I love it. And these are like the best, I think, perfect small size to get a really cool looking picture. So if you're someone that loves small size paintings, check out Paint Gems. They got a bunch of different kits to choose from. And the other day they reached out to me, I don't know if they could, if we could like collaborate and if they could send me a kit and an applicator. And I said yes. So here it is. I picked out the National Parks Edition and I picked out this Aqua applicator. Um, this does, the kit does have everything you need in here. This is something extra you can pick up if you enjoy diamond painting and you want to try a different pen to do your painting. You can use one of these and I guess let me show you everything there is. If you like what you see and you want to order one of these kits, if you use the link down below in the description box, you can save 10% off your first order. Or if you want to use the coupon code smells like yarn on your first order, you can save 10%. So... Thank you, Paint Gems, for sending me this kit, and I am super excited for this. So, first off, I'll just show you the applicator since it's a smaller box. So, I've been diamond painting for, um, I think, going on six years now. And for most of those years, I was using just a standard um, pen that comes with it. But recently, I started using different ones. Kind of like the resin style, and and I really enjoyed it. So when they said I could pick out one of these, I was like, "Ooh, good! I'll try that." So here is what you hold in your hand, and then you can change the tips on here. I'm taking that out, so you can see here are the different kinds of tips. So they got multi-placer tips. I'm not a multi-placer diamond painter. I'm a one gem at a time person, so I don't use these multi-placers. Also got this here, which you can put on the end and kind of use to push together your gems to make them straight and align. Another multi-placer here. Here we got like a bent tip, which I've never used one of those before. And then another multi-placer, then finally just your good old single tip, which that is what I will be using. And this just goes into the end of the pen, like so. Gotta push it in there, but I will do that when I have more space. And uh, I think it's in there. I gotta probably work in a little bit more, but anyways, we'll take care of that later. Um, right here, National Parks Diamond Painting Kit. So it looks like the front. Very nice packaging. Here's the back side. It shows you all the different pictures. So we got American Samoa, Arches, Volcanoes, Gateway Arch, Acadia, Grand Canyon, Joshua Tree, Zion, Yellowstone, and Glacier Bay are all the pictures. So let's take a look inside the box. Slide off this. There's paintgem.com. Open this up. Boom, so we got, right here says, relax through creativity. We got this little pouch here. So this is gonna be the tool kit that comes with the painting. So you don't need to buy one of these if you don't have any interest in that because what you need to do the diamond paintings come in this kit. So here is just your standard diamond painting pen. I think this is what I use pretty much for all my diamond paintings. And it has a single tip here. And then a multi-placer so you can do multiple at once. Like I don't use that end, I just use the single. I do one at a time. Also in here, a set of plastic tweezers. And some people use these to pick up the gems and place them on the painting. Or sometimes, like what I do, I'll kind of maybe spill some and need to pick them up off the painting so I'll just use the, the tweezers to kind of pick it up easier. And then we got a little comfort grip to put on the pen, the standard one. Make it a little bit easier on your hands. A little bit there. We got uh, just 
little white plastic tray. This is what you put the gems in when you're working on them. And you just pick it up with the pen and stick it on the canvas. And then we have this little container that has the red wax. And this is what you use. You'll stick, um, there's a plastic cover and you peel back that plastic. You stick the tip of the pen into the wax and that collects in the little tip here. And then that wax picks up the gems and then you use that to stick on the painting. So there's that. Here are all the gems right here. They come in a little Ziploc bags, individual Ziploc bags. Awesome. And this is a square diamond painting. So with diamond paintings, you have either round gems or square gems. This is a square gem. Um, if you've never done one before, I'd say squares take a little bit more work being precise because you want to make sure everything lines up so it looks good. Um, so it does take a little bit more time to do squares, but I say the final result looks much better. You usually get a little bit better detail with squares, especially on the smaller sizes. So then here is the diamond painting. So here's got little tips and tricks. Um, need some help, there's a QR code you can scan. And then here we have gem color chart and little stickers you can peel off and put on containers. If you want to put the gems in separate containers to hold them, I'll probably just keep them in these little Ziploc bags and just work from the bags. I do that when I get diamond paintings where everything is bagged up already like that. So what you can do is you can take and put these stickers on those bags if you want. Then here's the diamond painting. Look how little that is and how cute. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, all right, here's a little instructions. Peel off the adhesive layer covering the canvas. Choose a letter or symbol from the canvas. Use the color charts. Locate the corresponding gems bag. Pour the gems into the white tray and shake to align. Dip the tip of the applicator in the heart-shaped wax. Pick up a single gem or multiple using the multi-placer tool. Place a gem on the canvas's matching letter and repeat. Voila! You're ready to frame your masterpiece. And let's look at these little masterpieces. And right here just shows everything that's included. So very nice packaging. So let's kind of see what these are. So this is going to be Glacier Bay. Look how little that is. I love it. So let's look at the size of the picture. So you can just get you what size they are. So you are diamond painting an area that is going to be roughly two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches high. If you do that in centimeters, we're looking at nine by 16. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love these small sizes. And I think it's done well enough where you can tell what's going to be when it's finished. Actually, we can kind of like look here. Maybe it's on the wrapper like here. So here is like kind of like Glacier Bay finish. So it's very pixelated, which I really enjoy. It reminds me of way back in the day when I was a young kid and played on the Game Boy, the game Mario Pacross, which maybe that's kind of like where my interest in diamond painting comes from is just way back in the day playing that game where you kind of had, you made pixelated pictures based off like a numbers that were displayed like on a column in a row. You had to figure out where they went and I really enjoyed it. And like when you got finished, it showed like this pixelated picture, which this is what this is. So maybe that's where my interest in diamond painting comes from is playing Picross as a kid. But here is the Glacier Bay picture. I'm kind of zoom in on this. Let me see here. Very well printed, very, very clear, easy to read. And you just peel back this plastic cover. It is sticky where you put the gems, not sticky everywhere else, which is nice. So, yeah, I love this. So, there's Glacier Bay. What's the next one here? This one, I'm going to guess, is going to be Yellowstone. I love these pictures. And then here we have, this is going to be Zion. We got Joshua Tree. We got volcanoes right here. This is gonna be Acadia. We got the Gateway Arch. That's so cool. 
this right here is going to be the Grand Canyon. We got arches right here. And this last one is going to be American Samoa. That's so cool. So this is um, one of the National Parks edition. They have another National Park set. Let me get it pulled up on the website. So this right here is a set of 10. So this is the first National Parks edition. They have a second set as well. This is an additional 10 pictures. They also have like a collection of house plants and that's going to be 12 pictures. Floral edition, which is 12 pictures. Museum edition, which is like small size paintings, actual paintings in small size diamond paintings. Um, that's 10 in that set. Of course, the National Parks edition, there's two sets. They have a mystery edition where it's going to be 12 pictures from the different sets, kind of all into one. They've got a Christmas edition, which is going to be 16 different Christmas pictures. They got a Black Magic edition, which is kind of like a magic themed. There's a tattoo edition, which kind of has like tattoo images, what you see on tattoos. There's a set of those. They have a cocktails edition, an exotic fruits edition, zodiac. They also have two different space editions. There's an around the world edition that's got six pictures. There's another two around the worlds. They also have doggies edition where there's 16 different dogs, a love edition, kind of like a Valentine's Day heart themed traditional foods, so different foods. They have a cat's edition. They have a safari edition, so different like animals you'd see on a safari. And then finally they have a history edition, which is four different females from history. So really cool sets. Go check it out. I've linked down below. Also, like I said, down below, use that link. You can save 10% off your first order or use the code smells like yarn and save 10% off your first order. So thank you so much, Paint Gems, for sending me this kit. I am super excited to try this. I I've been wanting something like this where it's a super small size painting and I'm excited to try this and work on it. So stay tuned in the future for some finished little paint gem finished pictures that I have completed and I will see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.